Alright guys, welcome back, Cal Clash Fitness. Now today we're here to review the Speedo Biofuse performance goggle, okay? So this goggle comes with a claim that it leaves less marks on your face, okay? So, which for me is a big problem because I have this huge hooter which is essentially just a piece of solid bone here because I broke my nose when I was younger, okay? So what that means is normally when I get a pair of of goggles I have to smash them straight onto my face and I almost leave every single swimming session with with two black eyes it's literally that bad so first and foremost before we get into the basics of does it leak water and uh, steam up and all the rest of it what does it actually do to your face and does the biofuse stuff actually work or not so as you can see from from my eyes there you can see it has marked them up obviously it looks like I've had a pretty bad night's sleep if, if nothing else however that being said, I think I'm a, I am an extreme case, as I said, of someone that does mark up very badly with goggles because of this solid bone hooter, which for some things is a benefit. When I used to do martial arts and stuff, it used to be indestructible, but for pretty much everything else, um, it's, a, it's a drawback, okay, because I can't breathe through it either, which actually is a, is a, is a positive thing for swimming. Nose plugs, not required for me, okay? But, so the, so the biofuse... Today, with this level of marking, I was swimming, so I did 1500 meters, which took me 26 minutes, four seconds, and then plus a warm down, which a couple of hundred meters. So I was, I was wearing these probably for about 32 minutes in total. The maximum distance I've swum with these little bad boys is 3,800 meters, which took roughly one hour, 10 minutes. So I've swum for a long time in them, and the markings on the face were pretty much comparable to what you see today. So it doesn't really get any worse than that. If, however, I was swimming in these um, Zogs Predator goggles, so the, the case is a different case, Zogs Predators, I would be marked up pretty bad. So this, this marking around here would almost be blue, like a bruise, okay? And what I'll do, I'll do a review of these goggles as well next week, and I'll stick a little eye card up here or up here, wherever it comes, um, so you can you guys in a week a week's time whatever you can you can view the damage in my eyes from those okay so this these these are a lot better okay performance wise so this is the performance line they do not leak water i find that i don't have to smash them straight and like really force them onto my face like i do with other goggles i.e the zogs predator um they do have a habit of steaming up now and then which is fine if you're in the swimming pool if you're in open water not so good uh, especially if you're in triathlon situation you don't want your goggles to be steaming up uh, you're going to probably swim into someone else's feet and get booted in the in the face or you're going to go completely off course you can't see where you're going okay so um i would say they're not particularly suitable for triathlon they're also i don't think uh, correct me if i'm wrong in the comments down below i don't think you can get a polarized version either which means if you're trying to swim outdoor swimming in the, in the sun that's not going to be ideal or optimal either and finally the your vision when wearing these bad boys um is pretty good but it's not as good as your standard triathlon goggle anyway okay so for the for pool use for every single day use i love them because i swim before work so going into work without the huge marks is is a massive bonus they don't leak water which sounds like a basic requirement of goggles however it isn't so finding a pair of goggles that never seems to leak water is absolutely brilliant for me especially if, as i say my unusually sized and, and shaped and um nose which which isn't malleable at all um in total for the price as well good great value for money i think these set me back about 14 quid uk if you live outside the uk and you're not having to pay 20 percent tax on everything then they're going to be a lot cheaper as well okay guys that's my quick review of the of the um speedo biofuse performance as an everyday goggle i can't fault them as a triathlon goggle i'd probably go with something like the the zogs predator so in fact i do go for the zogs predator so for every day training i use these beasts for open water and um triathlon swimming i use the zogs predator i'll do a review of the zogs, zogs predator another time but for now guys comments down below as always like subscribe share on social media all the rest of it let's keep it rolling